I'm Jess from Conscious Calling and I'm just going to offer a few demonstrations of some pranayama, so breathing techniques that are really good for pregnancy and that helped me through both of my pregnancy and some of them the birth. So I talk about Ujjaya breath, so Ujjaya breath is amazing for so many things but in um, birthing we can use it to keep us calm and centered and to do that you close off the back of the throat and you make a raspy sound so it's also called the wave breath so it sounds like a wave on the ocean so to do it you breathe in and out through your nose long slow deep breath so you bring sipping in bits of air but in one go and all the way out it's also um, said to sound like Darth Vader so to do it you breathe in and out and continue breathing in and out through the nose so as we're doing this breath naturally the out breath becomes really long and that's what we want to help us relax okay one of the other breaths that helps is the horse breath where you exhale and make a funny sound with your lips making them vibrate against each other that one helps to release the pelvis um, as when the lips and the jaw are released then down below releases as well so it's really important that definitely um, when I remember to do that during labour helped and through especially the last stages of pregnancy when I was feeling tense I found a lot of tension in my jaw anyway so to do that helped um, so there's the horse breath there's the Ujjaya breath the hum the bee breath busy buzzing bee sorry that's Barami in Sanskrit and to do that you close off your ears and just make a sound like a bee so you can continue that for as long as you like that's really good for calming the nervous system but also it's good for new mums to do as I explain in the blog post that I've written which is because when we're humming or singing naturally we release chemicals in our body and when you do that around your baby your baby knows that mom is happy and when mom is happy baby is happy so whether you feel like it or not if you do that breath you are tricking not only your nervous system into feeling better but your baby to feel better so really good to do um, and the final one is the golden thread breath so to breathe in, it's more of a visual thing. You're going to breathe in slowly and exhale out of the tiniest gap in your mouth. A little bit like you're blowing out the straw. And as you do it, you visualise a golden thread, like a gossamer thread coming out and going wherever you want, really. It can go nice and far. You could imagine it going towards something that you love, a picture of yourself happy um, your baby you holding baby in your arms whatever feels well, feels nice but to do that so you're going to breathe in big deep breath all the way to the base of the belly and gently out So once again in labour that helped me stay focused, stay calm, stay steady. I did that pretty much towards the end um, when the contractions were getting really severe and then I had to change tactics to some other um, things or just naturally letting my body take over and do what it knows to do uh, best, which as women we all have the capacity to do. So there's a few different breaths for you that might help during pregnancy and labour. So good luck and many blessings.